Hi, this is Tweek. To continue on with our ESP series, we're going to focus on a spider just in time for Halloween. Join us. The supplies you'll need for this project are, you'll need some paint, some cardboard, lots of hot glue, and you will need some varnish, some scissors, and an X-Acto knife. So let's go. Today we're going to feature an endangered species that was thought to be extinct. A small colony of the ladybird spider were discovered in 1980, which took them off the extinct list and put them on the endangered list. However, that discovery did spur the spider lovers of the world to gather together and now there are 14 small colonies living in England. So we're going to feature that spider. It's very pretty. This is going to be a cardboard project. So what you'll need is as much cardboard as you can find around you. The spider is very, very pretty, black and red. So since this is a cardboard spider, I'm looking for cardboard around me. I cut out four circles. You see how roughly done they are? It doesn't really matter that much. I'm looking for four circles of graduating smallness. And so I cut those out. That's gonna be the abdomen of the spider. To make the front of the spider, I took a long piece of cardboard and I just started playing around by folding it up. And that was my way of coming up with a head for the spider. And I'll hook them together that way. Then I needed some legs. And the legs, again, were another piece of cardboard I had kicking around. And I just took it and I need eight legs for the spider. And where is my exacto knife? I always put something beneath to protect the table. And I'm just very simply going to come down halfway on this piece of board. And I'm gonna cut it into fourths. Okay, we've got eight legs. Eight legs, a head, a back end torso area, so let's get to the gluing. After the gluing comes the painting. So, gluing first. To give my spider a little bit of a 3D look and to make him a little more teardrop shaped, I'm going to take these circles and just offset them, offset them just a little bit like a crescent moon type shape. And so what I'm gonna do here is attach the little one first glue gun ready. Attach the other one, a crescent moon here. Look. And I'm going to do the same with the next layer. I like all the roughness that comes around. You could use smooth cardboard too. So now I've got those three attached. Like offset pancakes, huh? <laughs> now before I attach these three to the bigger, or the biggest circle, I want to add legs. I want the legs to be in this area here, which means let's work on the legs for a minute. I've got eight legs here, all the same length, and I'm simply going to position them. Not much body work here. I mean, it's a small space, but as long as there are four on each side. Then to make this a little more fun, I'm going to make a couple bends, just use the cardboard to make little bends. And this is going to act like the spider's joints. Okay, already the creep factor just went up on this, this critter. Okay, it doesn't have to stay up, I just wanted a little bit, bit of motion there. So let's go with... I'm going to do the first one first. That's where I'm going to glue. I'm just going to bend. They usually have like four joints, but this is your spider. Make them as jointy as you want.
have to do it this way. Put a little bit of glue on that leg and attach it. Look at the difference. You don't have to bend them if you don't want to. I think the, the creepy factor goes way up, even though these are spiders we want to draw awareness to. They're less creepy. We're at Halloween time. Do you have to learn a little bit about spider anatomy? Just a little bit. <laughs> now it's time to add these other layers. Now these two little guys were in the front. We take the rest of this. See how that's going to work? But before I do that, I want to add the head. Or do I want to? Oh yeah, I can do this right now. I'm going to just cover up, leave a little bit of a crescent moon again, because all the legs are hidden. And I'm going to add a whole bunch of glue and attach the body. I want lots of glue to hold this together. I don't want to wait too long or we will lose our heat. Okay, give me a little half moon. Set it right about in there. Now uh -huh, I'm going to attach this to the body. Well, that little piece I showed you, the long piece of box that I just thought, oh, that might make a nice head. Just rolled it up. And I'm going to clue it, because I want that to be the head. And I'm going to use this to attach it all together. See? So I'm just going to go ahead and use that whole width of his body and glue that down. I'll take off some tape that was there. And we can decide how big his head's going to be. These ladybird spiders look like little teeny tarantulas, and it's the males that carry the color. The females are all black. They're ooh, well, several times larger than the males. I'm going to his head back up. I'm going to attach, right? So I'm going to do it like this. I have to decide now. What do I want? I think I want it a little flatter against his body. Like that. Yeah, I think I want it like that. His little eyes are down here. His mandibles come out here. And then his, yeah, okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here to hold him down as I try to work. This is the way I figured out how to make a spider head. Let's open that, the ridge, yep. Yeah. The ridge of this would hold his head a little bit, and it does. Good. Maybe I'll put just a little dot of glue here. Okay. Here's what we have so far. It's getting creepy. Oh, he's a good little spider. I am changing the design on the mandible. Let's let's do. I just cut out a different one. I want it to come out more on his head. And that looks a little creepier. So traced it out on another piece of cardboard and I'm just going to cut it out. All right, mandibles. Let's see how you... Oof. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and to the folds of the head and I'll bring it up close. Folds of the head. Oof. Okay, so I'm going, oof, so I think that's good. <laughs> Let me glue those in. And we have our mandibles. Other side. Come here, Spidey. Good. Here's what we've got so far. What do you think? Now, chew to the ladybird style this spider is black and red so let's start painting him black I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to apply this right to the board and start painting 
I like doing the painting part because that's when the cardboard starts revealing itself with the little nooks and crannies and bumps. And I'm never quite sure how that's going to turn out till we add the paint and the varnish, which really brings out the colors. Okay, the back two legs and this part here are bright red. So let's get our red out. Black here, where can I put it? Red is still really, really wet. Okay, before I embellish my spider anymore, I gotta wait for him to dry. All right, so while I was letting all that paint dry, I decided to fill in those little caverns. I didn't like the looks of it, and I do now. It took some doing to get into that cardboard but you can see the results a little better and I'm liking that so a few more finishes we need on the top of his back he has uh, four spots like you'd see on a dice so I'm going to use my meat thermometer again and I'm going to try to get my circles nice and round and uniform using some more of the black and I'm going to paint this edge I'll practice first right here. Good. So here we go. Load up some paint on the edge. And I need four spots. And then I will gently fill them in with my brush. Not bad. Clean off the thermometer. We'll look at that. It comes right off. We'll give you a wash later. In the meantime, very carefully fill this in with black. I'm not going to try to go around the edges again. I'm just going to go right into the middle, leave those edges a little bit rough. These spiders are kind of furry, so this is his uh, signature marking is the, the dice on the top of his back. Next, we have eyeballs to do and then little highlights on his legs of all places. So let's do his eyeballs first. Two eyeballs. We wanted just little googly eyes. If you look at a real ladybird spider, their little eyes are black beads. So I'm going to add two little eyeballs right there. Okay, and then we're going to go right there. A little bit of glue. There, little eyeballs. Okay, now to finish him off with the painting part he, and every little joint in his legs. He has a stripe of white. So here's some white paint. Now this has a little bit of gray in it, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is just find the joint and go across. Not even to try to make it symmetrical or anything like that. So now, last thing to do is I want to add a chain so I can hang him up. It's one of these little bead chains that I like because they're very versatile. And I can just turn the spider. There's a little gap running right through his head. And I'm going to let this chain 
I'm going to chain row straight through that, come out the other side. Oops, come on, let me go here. There we go. And then I'm just going to hook the little connector to the chain. And we have our chain to hang our spider, see? Last final thing, take some of my varnish that I like, and I'm just gonna put it on the top here. Just gonna go over the legs and the body and the head. And using what I have left here, it just puts a shine on him, and it helps the cardboard to react and become its little bumpy and groovy self. Ladybird spider. Let's see how you turned out. And there you have it. All done. A spider that's endangered. You're bringing awareness to it in a very lovely and bright way. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the bell so you know another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, let's be aware of the endangered animals we share the planet with, large and small. See you again.